What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Larson, the three star, four star, one of the lower icon strikers you can get in this SBC. He is looking a little bit more expensive than Ian Rush, Cliver, and also Trezeguet. But then he is the next one after that with, I think, Shearer, I want to say. It's either Shearer or somebody else. Uh, Ian Wright, I think it might have been. But a three-star, four-star, 5'10 with a high high. Could just be striker center forward. Does have the chip shot as the play style plus alongside a finesse shot. And that is all of his play styles. So I'm interested to see where this guy can, can, can really go. 80 on the composure. Doesn't seem crazy, to be honest, but we kind of move. Good pace. Shooting-wise, we'll go up with the Hunter, which I think we've got to do. Doesn't change his play style, uh, his acceleration type. Would give him 95 pace, 92 shooting. Turning him into an 88-rated striker. Dribbling-wise... It, bar from the composure, balance a little bit lower, but agility is good. Head and accuracy and stamina is nice with jumping. So it is a very, very basic striker. I'm very interested, but we've got champs to do. Let's see if he's worth 100,000 coins. FC24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC 24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. Into Larson and Allison with a big save there. Into Larson takes the first step. Can we ping it across? It's a very, uh, I was either in for a hit and hope or managed to actually get something across. So I've chose that one. Managed to win the header. And sometimes that is the kind of, what I say, you, you win your corners. Sometimes if you've got a Virgil or someone with an aerial plus, they're going to win headers. Larson finds a bit of an opening and doesn't get his left foot on it, unfortunately. Ping. Oh, it's beautiful from Larson. It is a hit and hope coming across there. I really was like a seconds away from just going for the hit. But he manages to get the ball across and Dembele buries it. One more into him. Looking for the turn if he can. He's a little bit ropey. It's a good shot. It just He's very much like Trezeguet. He's kind of a bit static at times. There's the header though for him, and now oh, he's got to be—he's got to be getting that surely. We need a bit of Larson to be honest. He has done absolutely nothing going forward, and again, it's very much like Trezeguet. There's just literally nothing for him to do unless you can get it into his feet, which this guy is playing a marvelous defensive game. It's literally just random shots that are managing to get through. Oh, oh! I, literally, every time I say something bad about a player, they, they just come out of nowhere. He won the ball back, got the ball in, and he manages to find it, but doesn't manage to get the goal, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd have literally ate my words on that one. Larson with a header! Larson! Let's go! Finally, find something useful for the lad. But he manages to open it up. And sometimes, sets pieces make the game. Sometimes that, that could be the only goal in the game. But I don't feel like that's going to be the case with this one. Can he have a run through as well? Is he on form today? Oh, he's going he's, he's gonna to get tackled. Can we go for a ping into Barnes? Haaland! Let's go! Oh, it's a great ball from Larson. Haaland, get your strength, get your strength, get your strength, get your strength, get your chip, get your chip, get your chip, get your chip. Oh, nearly. Oh, good pass from Barnes. Double ball roll, shimmy into Larson, looking for the near post. And Martinez, again with a save. Larson has got to get something here. Look at the pace. It's just non-existent like that. There's just no point paying 100k for a striker that physically can't run, can't outrun mud. Like he's just woeful. So going into the overall for Larson, then, honestly, I really didn't like him, and I think it just goes with some of these sort of strikers that are more of the the blockier sort of striker. You've kind of got to get the perfect game for him. It doesn't fit my game plan. I'm very much an Ansu, a Messi, a kind of Ronaldo power driving forward or agility with the bat with kind of like the skill moves the left stick dribbling and he just doesn't have it great finishing on him you go with the hunter and most definitely you do get a card that is 
of at least a decent value. It's not necessarily the worst striker in the world, but in terms of what we're used to with, with kind of all the golds, the special cards now with the player of the month, Son, Liao, Rashford, unfortunately, it's just not going to work. And to be honest, I probably partnered him up with the kind of same sort of type in Haaland. So maybe trying to change it with someone like a Griezmann, someone like a Son who's a bit quicker to play off him might have been the better call learning from kind of previous mistakes. But in terms of him, there's a reason why he's one of the cheapest icons you can get at 96,000. I don't think he's really worth the pennies. If you do get him from the SBC and that's why you're here, I apologize, but I did get Campos in the Hero SBC. So I know the pain. In terms of him though, he's just going to be... Uh, a player that goes into the club and realistically if we get an evolutions that works on the base cards then he's going to be fantastic for it but other than that I really I, I would much rather go with Kolo Moane to be honest I think he's got a bit of a better success rate against these top end center backs and some people with better defensive styles than most and you might find him as a decent striker on, on his day he might be incredible it might just been the three four matches that we played with him he didn't hit the ground running. So unfortunately, it is down to just the games I play. We did it in champ. So tried it in the hardest mode for him just to really prove what he could actually do. And unfortunately, he did come up trumps. Oh, he didn't come up trumps. He got a few goals, penalty, a couple of goals here and there, but nothing too crazy. Personally, I'd go like a 7 out of 10. I don't think he's the worst striker. Like I said, there's a lot of strikers that you can get are worse than him. But most definitely what we have tried... He just really comes up flat compared to them. Let me know down below what you think about him, though. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Check the video on screen. Peace.